King Cruel, more like King Brew as a soup. Brew a soup. <clears throat> hey there, how are you doing today? I will show you how to play It's All Soup Now by King Cruel. This song was suggested by all these people. Thank you so much for your comments. Uh, happy to be back. Check out the description if you want to know why I've been away again for quite some time. Let's get into the song. I'll play it first in its entirety and then I will explain everything in a lot more detail afterwards and also explain a cool songwriting technique that King Cruel uses. Okay, see you then. So that's how to play the song. There are really two parts to this song. <laughs> I'll explain them both separately. Let's go through the chords first. The first part that I will explain is this. So the first chord is a C minor 7. Sometimes he hammers it on, so then he bars his index finger on the 4th fret from the A to the E string and then he quickly places his index finger or his ring finger and middle finger on the right spot. Then an A major 7, they're quite close, so you don't have to move your middle finger or ring finger, be aware of that. And then you have the small, let's call it a riff. So there are multiple ways to play this, King Crow also plays it in a lot of different ways. First of all you can just play the chord, or sometimes you play the note individually like this, or 
boat work here. It's sort of quite a free approach, so to say, to play this. And then you have again this riff, uh, another riff that sounds like this. <laughs> What he does, he bars his index finger on the A and the D string. Then there's a hammer on, ring finger on the fourth fret. Then an E major 7. He differs in how he does this riff. Sometimes he plays it like this. But he asks this. So you can really choose when you play it. King Cruel, when he plays it live, he plays it different the whole time. So there's no strict rule to it. Either like this or... And to do this you have to play an F sharp minor chord, F sharp minor 7 chord, and then slide it to the G sharp minor 7, and then an E. So the slide can be quite tricky. So instead of that you can also just play the chord twice. Like that. So it's nice, this, these small variations he puts in into how he plays the chords, it's quite nice that it adds variety, but not in a way that gets boring, like it's, it's, it's unpredictable in a way, which is uh, quite cool. And then the song suddenly changes quite a bit, it goes to a much more punky part, so to say. And the way he transfers to the second part is quite vague. Uh, you don't have to play it exactly like him, I would say, because the, the transition is quite random almost the amount of notes he plays and so on. So don't worry too much about that. It's, it's most important that you clearly go from that you're in the right tempo when you go to this faster part. But yeah, he first plays these open notes. So this It's quite... It's quite uh, self-explanatory, I, I would say. If you struggle with the tempo or the amount of notes you have to play, just play the song at a lower speed on YouTube, this video or King Cruel's song. That will really help, because that's easier to follow then. And for the second part where he plays his power chords, he really follows along with his vocals, so it's... You can also play these power chords with your pinky as well, so... It sounds most like he plays it when you only do downstrokes. But you can also do up and down strokes. That makes it a bit easier if it goes too fast. So what's cool about this riff, and what I don't see that often, not that I look at riffs every day, but this jump from the open E string to the 11th fret, that's quite a leap. It's, you could say, the biggest leap you can make within the scale while not playing the same note. Because if we play this note, it will be an E again. So, But now he's playing this uh, E fret or D sharp. D sharp. And it sort of gives us space to go down. To go down again. It, to sort of, it makes the um, riff and the melody sort of seem to go down a slope almost, I'd say. Because he, he starts off this quite deep and then you race to the top and then you go down quite quickly. And this is cool, um, you don't see this, well, again I haven't seen all riffs, but it's quite a cool leap to make from this open E. It's quite a jump, it, it, it's out there, you feel it, right? You feel it more than if I were playing. Oh. But it's a bit dissonant, it's a bit, uh, it's really out there, it's really cool. <laughs> I hope that was more insightful than it felt like. Okay, thank you so much for watching.